Hello my friends, today we have a very interesting video on our channel. This is a real levitation video. Who does not believe? Look. The culprit of this event is also in the studio. Now I will ask him a question. It's not a secret for anyone that this is my student. But nevertheless, I want to ask him a couple of questions. We are not going to talk about some esoteric things today. We will talk directly about the technique of execution. The first thing that really scared me in this video is that you let your friend, a friend, I do not know who this girl is. But. I would not recommend letting a person so close during levitation. You know why? A person can lose balance and fall, just fall down. You knew it. Please tell me why you took such a risk, a conscious risk. After all, you yourself understand that a fall from two meters can be quite critical, therefore your actions. Why did you do it? Well, I just know this person for many years, and I know what field she has. I worked out her field. And in principle, when she came very close, she felt discomfort. Her head hurt. She felt these waves, vibrations. Once, when I was lifting off the ground, this girl came up to me, just in emotions. 
And then she said, oh, I feel sick, my head hurts. She said, I had such emotions that my head hurt, but I did not say anything about why her head hurt. She just realized that she needed to stay away. Well, I told her, like, stay there, stay there. I told her how to record so that it would turn out fine. But this is not a professional video operator, so it turned out like this. Two cameras were shooting me then. Okay, Alexander, please tell me how difficult it was to do a descent over the water. After all, in fact, when we changed the distance from our body to the ground, we changed the balance. I know this for myself. When I was levitating in the mountains, I also went out on the slopes and felt the fall down. Most likely, that's why you started to go down. How difficult it was to catch the balance and hold it, not to fall off and really drop into the water. Because friends, it's really difficult. How long did it take you to do the preparatory work before you perform such a levitation? How much did you meditate before that? Well, I can't tell you exactly how much I was preparing, how much I meditated, well, for a long time. You can say constantly. You are engaged in some kind of sport, and you are asked how you achieve such a result. How much did you need to devote to training? Any professional athlete will tell you that it was constantly, day and night, diet and everything, everything, everything. The fact that you flew in the mountains, you understand that in the mountains, at sea, where you can see faraway objects, It is very difficult to determine the distance. The same thing here. I could not determine the distance, the height. When I was in sports, in professional sports, I knew what endurance was. Well, here, in principle, the same thing. Here is muscle endurance, balance endurance. I just kept in my head what I had previously worked on. I understood that I needed to keep certain sensations that I had. This balance needed to be kept and just continue and that's it. Well, there were of course distracting factors. For example, when I flew over the water, I could not see at what speed I was flying. I didn't understand anything at all. I thought I was standing in one place because the distance was very long. I don't remember much. It was 2010, it's been 11 years. What was included in the final meditation? Oh, well, it was a long time ago. I don't remember. It's hard to say. I remember that I worked out all the chakras. I remember this for sure. I listened to the identity key several times a day to remember these vibrations, sounds. I remember this. Okay, Alexander, I have a final question for you today. It will probably be a little sad, but I will have to ask it. In the light of today's events, I know that you broke your leg under some strange circumstances. And here's the problem. The identity key does not work if you stop it. That is, if we stop doing it, and in this case I understand that you have completely stopped doing it, the identity key ceases to carry the functionality that it carried before. Therefore, I suggest you make a new identity key. And how do you feel about it? So that I really did it for you because you already took it from me and it already worked for you. Therefore, I think you need to do it. Well, the question is, have you tried to do levitation without the identity key after stopping your exercises? Uh, well, yes, I tried. I haven't completely healed my leg yet, but uh, I tried to levitate, but I can't do anything. Maybe because my leg has not yet completely healed, it is still a little swollen, the temperature is still high, the knee is still hot, and it still hurts. And the bone has changed a little there, that is, the left knee differs from the right. And in general, I'm a little worried. I don't know what will happen next. So far, my main goal is to heal my knee. We'll see what happens next. Of course, I would like you to make me this identity key again.
Okay, then I will have to make you a new identity key. And maybe I will even show some of it live to people so that they understand how I do it. I hope you don't mind. At the moment, I don't know. I'm not ready to give you an exact answer yet. I just don't see the point of why I need levitation. Yes, it was cool. It was in alignment with the time I was in. I needed it. I was interested in it. Now I just don't see the point in it. Many people want to learn to levitate. They ask me, I tell them that I don't teach anyone because I can't do it now. I broke my leg and I tried to levitate, but I can't. I seem to do everything the same way, but I understand that the identity key is very important. You need to train these sounds, these vibrations, and only after that you can break away from the ground. Uh, I don't have the desire to start levitating again yet. Maybe in the future I will set myself such a goal. At the moment, no. Friends, thank you for your attention. And now we will watch this video again. In my opinion, this is a brilliant video. Just brilliant. In which a person showed his skill. I'll tell you a secret. The student surpassed the teacher. In my case. Alex, who came to me 11 or 12 years ago, came with a completely green egg. And I managed to teach him in a couple of years what my teacher taught me much longer. Therefore, I believe that the point here is not in the teacher, but in the student. How talented the student is. And I am really grateful that fate has brought me such a wonderful student to work with and that I was able to pass on some basics. And then the person picked up and began to develop himself. Therefore, friends, let's watch the video again and enjoy this wonderful spectacle for you levitation.